No. <laughs> I had All my right. Jimmy Palmiotti autograph. <laughs> so I figured we needed something festive for, for this broadcast. It's a Mario tree. I didn't see that till now. <laughs> <laughs> it is the coolest thing. The only downside to this is they give you about this much cord to plug it in. Let me guess. Is it USB? Yes. It's hard to find an extension for USB. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to find an extension, but uh, Amazon. there's something somewhere. Yeah, and you're right. Amazon. That's the way of the world. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. everybody, to Zia Comic Weekly as we are in the festive mood. Oh, hold on. There you go. Now I got. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, <laughs> going to switch that bad boy back over. And the wrong side. There we go. Now we're, we're adjusted. See, <laughs> we'll eventually get this thing down right, Troy. What's going on, Troy? How are you? Ah. <sighs> Tired. Tired. <laughs> it's the holidays, man. You should be that tired. Oh, that's it. We got behind the scenes. There's so much other stuff going on. It's crazy. Oh, it's, man. I know. It, it's, it's that time where it's like stressful for the next few weeks. And then you do it all over again in January. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, no need do. to remind you of that. <laughs> oh, no. This has been many years we've been doing it. Oh, man. Hey, you know what? And we don't get younger. That's the thing. <laughs> No, no. We just I keep get looking right. for that fountain of youth. I ain't found it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what we can get for Christmas: the fountain of youth. That Ponce de Leon was a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, we got so much to get to today. Of course, we are in the holiday season, and so much is happening from holiday movies. I'm sure a lot of households out there are watching some form of holiday movie. I mean, they can only show Home Alone two so many times on TV. Well, it seems like Lifetime Channel makes about 12 new Christmas movies every year. Yeah, and eight of them have Mario Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Women can't get enough of that guy. I don't know. You want to know how many I've seen? Four. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah, I forgot. Hey, you're talking about the guy who watches a show about cake. So you know I'm probably watching Lifetime. Yeah, I know you have a, a liking for chick flick stuff. So, you know, hey. I, I I mean, sometimes you need a good feel good romantic comedy that ends with her moving from her big job in New York to a small log cabin in North Dakota to sell candles for the rest of her life. And finding out she really does love the guy that she met in high school. And yeah, <laughs> we used to we used to play on the rugby team. <laughs> good old year. AC Slater. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it was AC Slater. <laughs> Oh, uh, but one show I'm sure many of us have been keeping glued to. I actually just started it yesterday. Uh, the Santa Clauses on Disney Plus. Ah, I missed it, that one. Yeah, so Tim Allen is back. Uh, you may remember from the Santa Claus, uh, and I thought it was a movie. Turns out it's a TV show, and oh. uh, yeah. So for those that are looking for the perfect holiday movie after you've seen the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> the Santa Claus is, is on Disney Plus, and I believe they got a new episode coming out next week. And uh, so far, so good. I missed that one somewhere along the line. I'm going to have to check it out. Oh, man. It, I mean, if you were a fan of the original one, and I know it, it's weird because it's, you know, from so long ago. But they covered that time as far as like, okay, when was the last time we checked in with Tim Allen and his family? <laughs> and uh, just those little moments. It's, it's, it's been pretty cute to watch. And uh, it's what we were watching while we were putting up the Christmas lights and doing everything. Yeah, I'll have to check that one out. I've just been catching up on all the other streaming stuff that just they flooded the streams with everything this past month. I mean, there's so much that's going on and so much to look forward to as far as going into, I believe, beginning of the year. We're going to be getting quite a few. If it's not for Marvel, it's, uh, uh, you know, some some fan favorites returning. Yeah, I, I, I saw the new trailer for Bad Batch that's coming out from Star Wars. Uh, Avatar's coming out this month in the theaters. Uh, uh, you, yeah. you name it, man. It's just so much stuff to watch. It's a lot to keep up with. Have you uh, gotten a chance to keep uh, catch up with Black Panther? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was going to this week, and, and then life happened, and I uh -oh. wasn't able to. <laughs> so I, I'm still going to try to hit it this week. So, or wait till next Tuesday. Oh, five dollar day, yeah. Well, that was my plans this Tuesday, and then something happened. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, we always got next Tuesday, Troy. <laughs> uh, but you mentioned Avatar: The Way of the Water. That comes out 
uh next week i believe the yeah. 14th they'll be dropping uh the long-awaited sequel to avatar uh which has high expectations especially from you know james cameron and you know them dropping a bunch of money into this movie to make sure it's a success yeah well the early reviews are really good all the critics are saying it's it's crazy mind-blowing good and you know man and i i think it was one of those things where and i if i'm not mistaken James Cameron waited this long because he wanted to see how far the technology advanced for them to be able to do this. Well, yeah, the first one was pretty advanced CGI wise, and you know, that's been many, many years. So I can't imagine what he's going to dazzle us with this time. For those that haven't seen or have, don't remember the first one, because the first one came out in what did we, what did we say? I know we found it last week. I think it's 2009. Yeah, it's been over 10 years. Something like that. Uh, it looks like, and I'm checking up right now on the website Uproxx, they're saying Avatar is going to be appearing on broadcast television for the first time ever this Ooh. Sunday on ABC. So they've never had it on on TV, it's hard to believe. Yeah, I, di I didn't know that. Yeah, so for the first time this Sunday, uh, obviously they need to make up for some programming things. They're gonna have it this Sunday in uh, in lieu of uh, the sequel coming out this weekend. Yeah, that's gonna be a great lead in to the sequel. Troy, I know I just got distracted I, right now. I found I saw it. that was I saw the light come on and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> although I probably turn something off in the living room i'm sure i'll hear my, <laughs> my wife yell or something somewhere across town somebody's lights are flashing what's going on but the star lit up man the star lit up uh <laughs> <laughs> how easily we i could be distracted by something as small as a, a yeah. mini christmas tree pretty shiny yeah, that's hey, all it takes love shiny things i didn't even realize i matched the shirt too <laughs> wait is that is that tree cake <laughs> hold on let me find a night we'll try it <laughs> oh man so of course today uh one of the things that i wanted to break down and this came out today was google's most searched of 2022 now <laughs> this past year of course we've talked about everything from your favorite marvel movie to your favorite tv show to the show everybody was streaming there is a lot to cover when it comes to what we were searching for in 2022. So I say, let's get started with people. Who would you say was the most Googled person in 2022? Uh, with the political climate, it would probably be somebody related to politics would be my guess. Uh, let's go more. You probably saw them in the headlines a lot, a lot in court. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> <Somebody> <laughs> political, that's the same thing. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Depp was uh, Google. Oh, you know, I had forgotten about it. I that blocked that out of my mind. <laughs> Can you imagine that happened this year? It feels like it was ages ago. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine that. And then the most Googled search person, number two, goes to Will Smith. Oh. If you guys remember Will Smith's infamous slap, <laughs> and it's had the day his career ended. Man, I don't know, man. And then when it comes down to actors, uh, they also take the top two spots as well. Johnny Depp and Will Smith for most for Googled most actors or most Googled actor was Johnny Depp and Will Smith. Wow. So, yeah, yeah I can believe that. I, I Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, obviously, for the drama that was around those two, it's not surprising. <laughs> so, well, here's where we get to break it down. And I'm not too sure if I'm agree with this google search list for movies all right ready to break this one down yeah let's do it okay we'll start from the from the bottom four okay we'll start with the number four number four the batman uh it was a decent movie it was a, a different take on batman I, I can get behind that one number three top gun maverick oh definitely but i think it'd be higher than three i was thinking the same thing i thought that would have been number one just because the people searching for you know was val kilmer in the original like you know because people do that go and search for these little easter eggs that they saw right but no number three was top gun maverick followed by number two thor the latest thor movie love and thunder love and thunder a lot of people were googling in that one i could see not top two but eh. <laughs> so and then this is one's gonna blow your mind troy number one goes to 
Encanto. What? That was this year? That was this year. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like it, but that was this year. The number one most Googled search was for movies was Encanto. And believe it or not, what I and I just searched quickly, uh, the number one most Googled search song goes to We Don't Talk About Bruno. Well, that I could, yeah. I, one, one Manuel, uh, what that dude? In Manuel Miranda. Yeah, the, the dude Martin from Hamilton. Be mad if he is watching. That is his, oh, that's his favorite right there. He loves Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> yeah, make sure we say his name correct. Otherwise, he'll get mad at me. We don't talk about Juan. <laughs> we don't talk about Juan. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we don't talk about Bruno gets the most searched on Google when it comes to that music. song. As soon as you hear it, though, you're singing it all day. It's stuck in your head. You know, Matt, it's crazy to think that even we don't talk about Bruno even charted on the Billboard charts at one point. Well, I believe it. It's yeah. a great song. I mean, it's just crazy to think that with all the music that came out that we don't talk about Bruno can be added to one of the top songs of 2022. <sighs> so, I can believe that. I, I can believe it. Uh, although, man, I got to say Top Gun. I, I would have said Top Gun should have been the <sighs> at least number two or number one. Yeah, I, I, the triumphant return of a 30 year old, uh, you know, sequel. Yeah, why Th they put Thor Love and Thunder above Top Gun? Yes, Thor Love and Thunder comes in number no, two over Top no. Gun. No. And I, I'm, I don't know, man. I Googled as much as I could for when it came to Top Gun just because it's just been trying to push it up on the list. I'm going to keep Googling it. I was like, hold on. I Googled Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> uh, but no, there was just so much. I mean, the movie originally came out 30 years ago and so much to, you know, go back and look at, especially us nerds that love to go and do our research about movies. I just thought Top Gun would have been more than Thor or even Encanto. Well, Encanto, I would have put, I can see it being top three, but I can't see it beating Top Gun. No. So and Thor, I Love, and Thunder shouldn't be in the top three. I mean, it was, don't get me wrong. I love the movie. It's not a top three movie of the year, though. Yeah, and uh, I know that uh, some Marvel movies are at the bottom of the top ten. So you got uh, a few of the Marvel movies. I, I saw uh, Doctor Strange came in number eight. I'm just I liked kind of it. through. Yeah, and then of course in the top ten you got uh, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever, uh, and I think that one was due to people wondering what was going to happen with the how the movie was going to progress. You know, with Chadwick Boseman passing away. I figured Black Adam would be in there somewhere too. All the hype it was getting before it came out. No, not even with The Rock. The Rock could not promote enough for people to care about Black Adam. Tell him the man in black sent you. <laughs> They're like, which one? I don't even know anymore. There's too many of them. <laughs> they all wear black. <laughs> it's like, can we find a different color? <laughs> what you mean, the guy at Hot Topic? I don't. Right. What do you mean? <laughs> How about the guy in yellow? That one. That one works. <laughs> So, yeah, those are just the, the most Googled uh, searched for 2022. And I'm sure as we get closer and closer to the end of the year, more of these lists will come out as far as favorite movies um, and, you know, favorite songs, most searched actors, uh, just all kinds of stuff. But 2022 had a lot to offer. We got our we got our Marvel movies. We got even a Eagle and John Cena doing an amazing dance at the beginning of the year. <laughs> There's just so much that we got to see in 2022. Troy, what was your favorite show of 2022? There's so much to take it. Uh, what was movie or, or we'll series? Let's go first. Series first? Yeah, we'll do series first. Oh, that's tough. You know, the ones that just recently came out are always on top of your mind. You know, like Wednesday... <laughs> Uh, the new season Yellowstone came out. Tulsa King, I've been liking that one. Um, the Obi Wan, Obi Wan was this year, right? Yeah, Obi Wan was this year. Yeah, I liked Obi Wan, but my favorite. Wow, that's oh man, that's a tough one. Uh, Andor was good. Uh, I don't know. I got to I got to go with Star Wars and say Obi Wan. I'm gonna go with Star Wars. Yeah. It, it is tough for me to think because, I mean, Cobra Kai this season was really good. Oh, I forgot about Cobra Kai. but My boy uh, Stingray. <laughs> come on, man. Stingray. <laughs> uh, that one, Peacemaker also came out this year. God, so, yeah, see, I keep forgetting. Those were all great. It, it's, But, you know, and it just brings it like what I mentioned earlier. It's crazy to think a lot of these shows came out this year. Like, we had a lot of stuff to look forward to. 
Because I think a lot of us at the beginning of the year are like, am I going to keep HBO Max? Am I going to keep, you know, the Paramount Pluses and all these other ones? And there's just so much good content that has been on there these days that it's just, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it, it's insane. I, HBO Max, uh, I forgot, Peacemaker. I was like PC's first step towards being Marvel-esque <laughs> in, in their content. Yeah, and I constantly see on TikTok the reminder of when uh, at the that very final scene of Peacemaker where uh, <laughs> he gets the cameo and he tells him to, to, to you know what to do with the fish and yeah. just get that <laughs> these cameo appearances. It's 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 hilarious, man. I, I don't know, man. That is a tough one, but I think for me, longevity. I, I like I mentioned. I know I mentioned. I think Peacemaker was was a big one, just because I think that did solidify John Cena to be that actor that you know i, I when i i'm okay with him not being in a wrestling ring i'm okay with him doing the movie thing now i think we need to keep him more in the movies than we need to see him in a wrestling ring yeah he's like i said he's kind of like hemsworth man he's got comedic chops and they just really need to give him the right vehicle and i think peacemaker is that i think he's gonna run with this and 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 just i think peacemaker is gonna blow up yeah and we may get that crossover between Dwayne the Rock Johnson and, and Peacemaker. <laughs> be a short fight, but yeah, okay. <laughs> it really would be. I mean, but I'm sure between the comedic and the seriousness, I mean, I think those two, I think it would be a I good team up. It, it really <laughs> would be. I mean, I think a lot of us are waiting for for that that collaboration between those two to see whether it's in a Fast and Furious movie or you know or whatever else they have going on down the line. Well, wasn't he already in a Fast and Furious? Uh, the Rock was not in this latest one that John Cena was in. Well, I thought he played John Cena's. No, he played Dom's brother. That's right. Yeah, Vin yeah. Diesel's brother. Yeah, the I'm not a big Fast guy. and Furious fan. <laughs> so uh, I've watched all nine of them, and uh, <laughs> I'm okay with that. I have been okay with that. As a matter of fact, I think I mentioned on this show, that was one of the first movies I went and saw, you know, when the pandemic and everything was, and they moved, they opened the theaters back up. That was one of the first movies that we went and saw. We were in Scottsdale. And I was like, well, what is there? It's like, we haven't been to a movie theater in seemed like forever. There's Fast and Furious. So, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was better than the last movie I saw before we went into the pandemic, which was Impractical Jokers, the movie. They made a movie? Yeah, they made a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the only one that saw it, apparently. <laughs> It made tens of dollars. <laughs> hey, twenties, okay. I took the wife with me, okay. We both went to go see that movie. She wasn't oh. too thrilled, but hey, we went and saw it. <laughs> they don't get the humor. They, they really don't. <laughs> uh, looking at some uh, things for the future and some sad news to report. Wonder Woman will not be getting a third installment. Yeah, well, well, James Gunn is taking over there. So I know they're he's got some stuff planned. He posted a picture, um, you know, saying working on stuff. And it was a, a picture of kingdom, the kingdom come story, uh, which is a great alternate universe story for DC. So everybody's speculating. He might be going to do a kingdom come. He's already talked about uh, Jason Momoa has already dropped hints that he might be Lobo. Oh, so wow. they're, they're thinking they might be moving away <clears throat> from these characters that are already established and start, a whole new James Gunn era of DC. But, you know, this is kind of like what we said last week is, you know, we know the origin stories of the Batmans and the Supermans. And I mean, I think that's the big reset that DC needs to be able to start with something like this. And I mean, you are going to have your success because you do got another Aquaman movie that's going to come out and, you know, people are going to flock to that, but that's also going to be kind of tough because how do you associate Aquaman and then now him going on to play another role? Look at Chris Evans. How many yeah, that, roles has he played? <laughs> hey, Michael B. Jordan is another one. Yeah. He yeah, so, I mean, bad. it's not an issue. They they can do it. it they've proven people don't really care. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just you got to find the right person to do it. And I think James Gunn is the right person. But, you know, we've been I, – I, I'll say it personally. I feel like we've been burned by D.C. so much that we just don't even know what we're going to get. Uh, you know, the dark and brooding thing worked with Chris Nolan – but I think it's run its course. I don't need to see dark and brooding anymore. Yeah. I want to be entertained. I little little right. action, little comedy, a little more action. <laughs> I just think that's where we're at now with these movies and with the time. I mean, I loved Doctor Strange, yeah. but I think Doctor Strange, I mean, it, it was probably one of the more darker movies. And although it was really good, it was also a little bit of a 
tone shift because you're just kind of like, yeah. okay, are we ever going to get a nice cheap laugh? I mean, we did get the <laughs> cheer, but then next thing you know, it's like, oh, I don't know. This was a little dark for, for a lot of viewers. Yeah, they still plugged a little little humor in here and there in Doc Strange. So yeah, so I mean, they got to remember. I mean, that's what's always made them successful is those little bit of humor, uh, those little moments. Yeah, and you gotta uh, introduce a little levity, not so much levity as they did in, you know, Thor: Love and Thunder, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need a little bit. Uh, a trailer that came out a couple of days ago. Don't know if you got a chance to check it out. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Did you get a chance to see the trailer? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this movie. Um, this one I think is going to be pretty emotional, man. They said one of the main characters is going to die, and everybody's speculating which one. Uh, I, I, I think, uh, I hope it's not the one that I think it is. Well, everybody's leaning towards Rocket. That's the one. I'm yeah. like, and, and you're going to get to see Rocket's girlfriend, Lila Otter. So that's, kinda, he's not the only anim, anamorphic, you know, anamorphic, is that the right word? Talking animal. <laughs> he's not the only one. Hey, this is us. That's how we, talking animal. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Let me dumb it down. Because <laughs> if you would have said anamorphic, it'd be like, like the books from back in the nineties. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't even read any of those, but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, we got our first tease of that. Um, Drax seemed uh, injured in one of the scenes. So I think yeah. some people are also speculating it's Drax that's going to be the one that goes. I don't know, but we know this is James Gunn's last last one with the Guardians. Yeah, yeah. I've even seen Star-Lord being, uh, I think he was being carried by Nebula at one point. So, I mean, they're, they're throwing all kinds of red herrings out there. And uh, I guess we'll see which one it actually is. Man, I, I I just I hope it's not Rocket because I probably will cry in the movie theater. Well, if any of them, I mean, I I'm kind of uh, emotionally attached to really all of them. So I mean, even Mantis now, I'm kind of getting attached to her. Right, especially after this holiday special. Yeah, when you see she actually has some skills, she just doesn't stand around and put people to sleep. She <laughs> she can hold her own. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's it's gonna be a tough one for a lot of us. Uh, Guardians mm -hmm. of the Galaxy three, that comes out. I believe that one comes out in May. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a while. May, but in March we're getting Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Quantum Mania. Right, and we're supposed to. I, they you know they've already shown Kang. Mm -hmm. uh, they've teased we might see Modok. That's so. right. I've I've seen some rumors about who could potentially play them yeah uh, it always changes but never know what's going on apparently i got disco music now that's going on oh i sound like a dot matrix printer <laughs> <laughs> i don't know who's i'll just dance i guess yeah, this background music is <laughs> try to oh there we go okay i was like where did that come from <laughs> the beauties of working from home. You never know what's going to start. <laughs> and then I'm in my, my son's room, so a toy may go off here in a bit. So Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what happens on this show, apparently. Uh, yeah, Quantum Mania, of course, you got, um, I, I think, a lot of spoilers that are going to come that way. Could we possibly see Spider-Man somewhere end up in that movie as well? Didn't Tom Holland just sign another contract? He's believe... going to do X number more movies? I think it's four more movies that we're going to see him in. So yeah, he'll he'll probably do a little little cameo at least. Yeah, I think four more movies. I believe two of those movies, from what I, I've seen online, they're saying the two Avenger movies that are going to be coming, and that's not until later later. Um, but that still opens up for cameos in in some other movies. I'm kind of leery about the Avengers without Iron Man. How are they going to do that? I, I, that one's going to be tough. You don't have that. You don't have Captain America either. Uh, we yeah. may not even see Thor in, in this Captain in this group of Avengers. May or may not. We don't know. We'll probably see uh, other characters, but probably not even Thor. I think he's. I think he's still got a couple more on contract. But I know he. They pretty much said take a Watiti. You know. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. We don't want you doing Thor. They're getting tired of bro Thor. They they want him to be more serious. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah, it's just uh, we'll we'll see what they decide to do as far as you know moving forward with these. It's going to be tough, man, to see a lot of the original 
OG Avengers go away. And then we start seeing the new ones because, I mean, they're going to take time to get used to. But this is also opening up for us to get, you know, some fan favorites, you know, some comic book favorites. You know, I'm wondering where Deadpool is going to fall into the mix with all this stuff. So yeah, they got to pass that torch. I mean, they introduced Riri supposedly in, in Black Panther. I haven't seen it yet, but I saw the trailer. So I know Riri's in it. Yeah. And so, I mean, I believe there's supposed to be a series with Riri Williams. I, I yeah. don't, she, she couldn't even carry her own comic book. So I don't know about her carrying a series. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough because at one point, I mean, as much as I love all the series that we've gotten from Marvel, eventually they are going to have to dial it back as far as to what series they want to keep on. You know, maybe there's some characters that don't need to have their own series. Maybe there's some characters that just need to make these appearances. I mean, as much as I like what we saw from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy special, I mean, do we really want to see a Drax solo movie? That's kind of what the special was. It was a buddy cop with him and Mantis type show. <laughs> but do you think it could carry for 10 episodes? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Now, Loki, on the other hand, Loki is one. Was that this year or was that last year? That was this year, too. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. See, there was a ton of them that were just like, wait a minute. Loki. Yeah, and She-Hawk. I loved She-Hawk. So, see, I mean, <sighs> how many did we... How many did we just list right now? And now we can't even like, oh, wait, that was just this year. And She-Hulk was just a few months ago. Yeah, I'm changing my list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll break. As we get towards the end of the year, then we can break down better what was one of our favorites. Because now as I'm listing these movies, I'm like, wait a minute. And now I'm starting to wonder, was Squid Games even this year too? Or was it last wait, year? That was, no, that was, I don't know. <laughs> I want to say that was maybe December of last year. Was it? So almost this year. Yeah, almost this year. So it was at the top of people's mind, but I think it was already ran its course. Yeah, by and they're making a second Squid Games. So you see, <sighs> there's so much, man. I mean, I don't know. We definitely had a lot to, to talk about this year, just from the different Marvel movies, different comic book movies, and just uh, different storylines, just from everything. Not just Marvel. That's the one thing, too. It wasn't just all Marvel this year. There was just so much out there right. that I think fans were – definitely surprised by what they got their hands on and it was it was cool well disney already said they're going to scale it back they can't keep this pace up mm -hmm. um, between star wars and marvel plus their disney pixar type stuff they they said yeah we're, we're not going to push it that much <laughs> in this next year <laughs> yeah they kind of definitely went all out this year so yeah, i could see them and it's way the way the budgets have been going lately with disney i mean you hear these rumors about what's been going on with disney you just want to make sure that you know that they're able to keep everything. I just we'll, they, we'll, they need to hire Elon Musk and he'll just fire everybody and save money. Man, I know. <laughs> and apparently you can't even delete your Twitter. That's the problem. <laughs> He's not allowing you to delete your Twitter. I've already seen a couple of friends that are like, I'm just trying to I don't really use Twitter, but apparently I can't delete my account. So I'm like, well, well you, you gotta pad those numbers. <laughs> uh, good luck to y'all. You want better enjoy your Twitter accounts. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, because they're not going anywhere. Yeah, no, they're going to be there for a while. I mean, he only paid a couple billion for them, so he might as well Way make Way sure overpaid, yeah. Cheap return on investment at this point. Uh, what do we got going on with the El Paso Comic Con? How have things been going with you guys? Uh, well, booths are sold out. We sold out all the booths. So if you're looking to get a booth, we warned you, man. We told yeah. you they're selling out. Don't what? This isn't a sales ploy. Go get it. But uh, they're, they're, unless somebody cancels, there are no booths available. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get a few more uh, comic book talent people in, um, and maybe fill a few more, if, a few more spots on the guest list. Because the one guy I was going after is not going to be able to make it. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe one or two more uh, guest uh, celebrity type guests. And other than that, we're just trying to look at um, you know entertainment stuff to have inside to keep people uh engaged you know you don't want it to be like uh i i don't want to use this example but like a home show or an art show where you just go in you do one lap and you're like yeah okay um well, we can go out to eat now and go home say so we did our round now let's go ahead yeah and go. give them something to keep them there throughout the day yeah we, we want to keep them we want you to walk in the door and stay inside the door all day long until we force you out <laughs> so that we're, we're looking for more entertainment in, in that way um other than that, everything's falling in place. We got a meeting, I think, with the convention center next week. 
uh, to go over stuff for El Paso Comic Con and discuss a few new events we're going to try to bring into the fold. So uh, I'll have more information on that next week. <laughs> nice, nice. And, uh, you know, it is the holiday season. And uh, Zia Comics, what do you guys got going on at Zia Comics? Well, this Sunday, we're going to have Krampus from 2 yeah. to 4 p.m. Yeah, at, uh, at Zia Comics. Uh, I finally finished up that suit and got it the way I wanted it. So uh, we uh, we debuted it out at the – they had a Krampus Fest in El Paso. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and so it, it was pretty well received. Everybody, you know, everybody had good things to say about it. So this Sunday, we're going to have Krampus at uh, Zia Comics from 2 to 4 p.m. Okay. And then the week after that, I think we're going to do Santa Claus for the people who – are scared of Krampus. <laughs> See, they got everything for you guys. So go check out Krampus and uh, do some shopping at Zia Comics. The holiday season is in full effect. Uh, go and check out and see what they got going on. And, you know, there's always something going on, especially around this time. Uh, yep. downtown. So, yeah, pop up in there and see you guys and uh, and say hello to Krampus for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, If they want to keep up with you on the socials, how can they follow you? Uh, we're all over the interwebs. We got uh, we got the Twitter because <laughs> we can't delete it <laughs> we got the facebook we got uh instagram the insta or the gram or i don't know what the kids are calling it nowadays but i'm not they that cool every week troy we don't even know either yeah but, I, I just use the whole word because i'm yeah. not that cool yeah <laughs> instagram uh youtube got a bunch of stuff on youtube and the tiki Taki. That's right. Follow them on Tiki Talkie. Keep up to date with what they have going on. Uh, for myself, Coach Joey on the FM on TikTok, uh, Big Show on the FM. You can follow us on Instagram as well as Hot 103's Big Show on Facebook. Guys, this has been another edition of Zia Comic Weekly. We do this every Thursday right here streaming for you guys. Until then, we'll catch you guys next week. Later, nerds. <laughs>